What's up? Today we are going to review a lot <laughs> of the most difficult pieces on different instruments. Yes, yeah, so oh, uh, we made it through. Yeah, all. Yeah, I was thinking, like, <laughs> is he gonna read what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, some context a while ago, we did a Leaning 40 Hours video, and we mentioned, I think it was a meme about how Liz was like the piano version uh, of Paganini. Uh, and so, we, we kind of just asked, hey guys, we're curious, what are the Paganini equivalents of your instrument? For those of you that don't know, Paganini and Liszt are very famous composers known for writing the most technically challenging and demanding pieces in the world. Almost superhuman, the things they do on the instrument. Pushing it to the limits. Very limits. Yeah. Watching someone nail Paganini is like, it's like watching an Olympic world athlete type of thing. It's insane. And so we were curious to see hey, what you guys commented. And today we have compiled a list of comments of you guys suggesting what you guys think to be the Paganini equivalents or the most difficult composers of your instrument. Oh yeah, let's get started. Ding. Let's go. Paganini for trumpet. Anything Alan Vizzuti does. Carnival of Venice is already difficult technically and he made Carnival of Venus which has two octave or more jumps. He also plays the normal Carnival of Venice with his trumpet upside down. Wow. Okay, who is this? I don't know who this guy is. Alan Vizzuti is an American trumpeter, composer and music educator born 1952. Hey, still alive. Nice. Hi, Hello, Alan. If you're watching this Okay, that's serious? just, that's, I can't tell. That's... <laughs> you sound like someone at the con practicing yeah. the scales. Da, 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 da. It sounds like da, a Mozart da, concert da, 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 da. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah, you yeah. think it sounds yeah. like someone just practicing scales? Warming up, scales, yeah, warming warming up. It, yeah. <laughs> and then they just started flexing. Yeah. Did you just do vibrato? Yeah. What? what? I'm so confused. You vibrated on the trumpet. It's got placebo. <laughs> Dude, he looks like... so bored. Like, <laughs> done it many times. That's how I imagine Pagani would yeah, be. Yeah, Pagani and Liz is like... Yeah, okay. What else can I do now? Oh. And then I love just before we skipped to 201. Yeah. He was like playing a melody. I was like, yeah, like every Paganini concerto. That was start with, with a melody. <laughs> 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 and then <you> go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bad Vic for the tuba. I can't, sorry, pronunciation. Specifically, Fnug. 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 Which abuses several <laughs> unique techniques that are very difficult to do well. I love the choice of the word abuse. <laughs> Sounds like some someone like chanting or something. Yeah, some ritual to yeah. summon a freaking tuba <laughs> demon. <laughs> it's that you know that meme, the tuba boss. He's trying to summon that thing. Like, <laughs> comes out. <laughs> Sounds like a didgeridoo. No, it's yeah. It's also like also when you press the violin string so hard, it goes an octave lower. Extended technique. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see what you're doing. Dude. That sounds actually really cool. <laughs> when, you, when, when you're lactose intolerant and you have milk. That's <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> why it's good. Fart nug. It's also that feeling when tuba just has that little that you have to like start stomping your yeah. foot. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool though. That's I, cool I enjoyed this. Trombone, Pagani is probably something like Blue Bells of Scotland. Oh, that okay. sounds stressful. Yeah, that sounds freaking out. Yeah. <laughs> I've never heard a trombone done that before. It sounds like something you would expect from Paganini. Yeah, it's like, on the trombone. Like, bah, 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 
Oh, yeah. just start like that. And you're like, whoa. It's like the yeah, yeah, the string crossing stuff, right? I'm seeing a formula. There's yeah. always like flashy da, 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 opening da, 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 and then a lyrical da, da, thing. Da, 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 da. Like there's an easy lyrical thing. Yeah. Just so the audience can still enjoy it. Gets your attention, lyrical theme, and then flex. And then just flex. Now you're interested. Yeah. Let me show you what I can do. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm not a trombonist, so I don't know how hard it is. But I have worked in an orchestra, I have heard trombonists, and you don't hear them sounding like no, this often. No, I never, I, I almost never yeah. heard someone someone that plays trombone that quick. And so light and yeah. clean. Yeah, yeah. articulate, yeah. Wow. wow. Oh, that's, oh, damn, okay. Damn. Pagnini of Oboe. Silver Stini. I'm just saying, you know, it's hard when the name of the piece is like 682 number 5 Cindiplex said the orange number 3 Boulevard is Kapuch. And this guy's sweating. Oh, it's like a workout for him. This started straight away. It's like bang! Pagani Caprice number 1. Boom! It, it sounds like that. Yeah, like one. Just runs and arpeggios. Doesn't breathe. Yeah, so good, good. But even then, yeah, that's when I start. Pretty, it? Whoa! Whoa! Fourteen bars of circular breathing and freaking. Can you circular breathe? No. Yeah. Can you? No. I tried it. Yeah, but I couldn't do it. I remember uh, one of our friends told me how you do this. And when you do that, breathe in at the same time. So it's like you have a little bit of oxygen extra that you store here yeah and, and then, then that little bit you br you use this as a transition and then, no. and then you breathe oh my god you forget <coughs> you gotta keep doing it can i just say props to all these performers yeah that's incredible Stravinsky's three pieces for clarinet have my friend actual panic attacks and stress dreams okay here we go the panic attack for clarinet <laughs> Definitely sounds difficult, but I, it doesn't have the same <clears throat> Pagani feel of like, like virtuosity. Flair. Yeah, virtuosity. Yeah. yeah. To me, this seems a bit more. If I had to draw a comparison, I don't know in terms of technical side, but like musically, like Isa. I thought Isa as yeah. well. There's more kind of intricate musical and like kind of characteristics of 20th century music, whereas the other ones that we saw before were very much more like. The standard virtuosic formula. Yeah. But it's interesting. I can see why it would create anxiety because Isa also causes anxiety. So much anxiety. Cello, Paganini is Piatti. Oh, of course, yeah. we all know Piatti. Yeah. It's Piatti and what's the other one? The Dance of the Goblin. Oh, the, uh, that's like a one yeah, off. Yeah. Dance of the Elves. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 we get it. We get it. Flutes, Paganini, Debussy, Sphinx. This is arguably suddenly, as there are so many painful, uh, I mean, compelling repertoire pieces out there. Uh, I can relate. Painful, uh, I mean, compelling. <laughs> <laughs> It's a different type of heart. Yeah, it, yeah, it's not like showy heart. It's I think it's more the subtle. Yeah. Like the the line. It just keeps going. Yeah. 
And I can imagine too, as a wind player, again, we're not wind players, to be able to control the breath to get that phrasing. And all that sound at yeah. the same time. That would be very, very difficult. I'm running out of breath. Just, <laughs> yeah, just, just watching like, this, like, I feel like, <gasps> I'm so glad I'm yeah. playing a wind instrument. I can breathe while playing. Last one. Double bass. Double bass. For double bass, it would be Bodicini, he even nicknamed the Pagani of bass. Ooh. <laughs> oh, wow. see something like whoa but Peggy needs sounds a lot more impressive yeah that is impressive for double bass there's so much movement and they have like yeah it just looks like his hands sliding across the yeah the fingerboard because when we played double bass it was oh, oh my god you're just getting in, a sound was so painful yeah, put that in perspective yeah and then this sounds so light and elegant yeah and pleasant to listen to wow well there you go guys the pagani and lists of every other instruments this is like the, the equivalent to me it's like making an elephant look like it's galloping yeah <laughs> <laughs> it starts like flying <laughs> like dumbo the elephant <laughs> All right, thank you so much for watching check out these pieces guys and once again all these artists they are great musicians definitely working hard so please like and subscribe we'll see you guys next time